What is up guys? This is Do Work from One Hive 2.0 slash One Hive Invicta uh, here with another Hog Rider series. Uh, today I am visiting uh, the Heroic Giants. Uh, <clears throat> this is actually, uh, it's a clan from uh, somebody from Invicta. Their mini account is in here. Uh, so they did sign up, you know, and I figured I'd stop by and uh, it was actually easy access. I just coordinated it through uh, through the, you know, the chat messages through one hive and, uh, you know, I just stopped by visit with them. Uh, this is actually my second war. I, I made the mistake of not opting out when I first got here. Uh, so, uh, I accidentally got wrapped into two wars here, which, uh, you know, I'm definitely not complaining about. It was, it was still fun. Uh, but, uh, nonetheless, uh, I am here with them, and I am now going to show a couple attacks. Right now, we're currently in war, so I am going to continuously uh, check over, see if I can catch a live attack. Uh, lots of three stars so far. There's a couple, uh, a couple still open right here uh, and right here. Uh, six and eight and eleven are still open, so uh, we still have plenty of attacks to clean those guys up, uh, and we still have plenty of town hall tens left to go at them possibly try a three star attempt here and there I'm not too sure but i will be sticking by to try and catch uh, a live attack for you guys so about this clan uh they are a fair play uh you know go hard three star attackers here I mean, the hybrids i guess people call them now and uh they uh they are very anti-modding uh, one of the as I said, one of the guys in here, uh, XO, uh, that's Josh, Joshy from over in Adam Victor. Uh, he is from One Hive, so the whole clan in and of itself embraces that environment of a very anti-modding clan. Um, and they do uh, actually they plan very well. Uh, they do use another outside third-party chat, uh, just like uh, One Hive does. Uh, but I would like to get into uh, a couple replays here, uh, if I can. Uh, where was it? It was Chris. Right, so Chris taking on number 15. This was the, the third hit. Uh, so it was his third look. He decided to go in here with uh, basically a go-ho. Uh, starts here at about 9 o'clock. He's going to drop some, some hogs to try and uh, take out our, the Archer Tower and pull the CC. Um, job accomplished. He's going to do the, the the good old two archer one healer trick on this uh, on this hound, so it distracts from the entire match. So, uh, definitely saves troops, saves time. Uh, and then he's going to come in from about five o'clock here with his uh, cold blooded go ho. Uh, so he I mean he drops it. He drops his his jump down pretty quick, gets him in, but that you know it doesn't hurt only because that. Archer Tower is so close to the edge. Now that golem is taking quite a beating, uh, and he's already almost dead. But he gets his king in there quick, uh, locks on to the Archer Queen. He's gonna rage him here soon, uh, and then down goes the Archer Queen. Uh, and the rest there isn't very too, there isn't very many spots here for for DGBs. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, they're out here uh, and down here. Uh, you, so, I mean, it, they weren't even, very, you know, well-placed. Uh, so, I mean, he just comes in with a mass hog attack and just, you know, shreds this base apart. Um, he's going to... I don't even think he necessarily needed that that heal right there. He probably could have held on to it. Uh, but, I mean, that's picking on the petty right there. Uh, no reason. Uh, I mean, no reason to criticize a three-star, right? So, uh, the only thing, I wish he would get these back in, yeah, he just now starts dropping his cleanup troops. Uh, you know, my only other recommendation would be to get those guys down quicker. As soon as you get those hogs doing the tanking for those those defenses, drop those cleanup troops in the back. Uh, I know, you know, for now, we only get three minutes, and, you know, with this new update, they're going to add 30 seconds. But, uh, you know, practice makes perfect, guys. Don't get in the habit of uh, hitting those high 90s because... Uh, because those cleanup troops. Uh, so I will 2x this so you guys can see the three, but that was a great hit by Chris. Um, I brought it back old school with the two two archer healer combo for the uh, 
uh, for the hound. And here it is. I'm going to take another quick little peek. No live attacks coming to dang. Alright, another one uh, I'd like to show you. Uh, a deal, a deal. Um, you know, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, but I've seen this base a lot lately. Uh, and most of the time I've ever seen it. I don't, th I don't think I've seen it lala Laloon before. Uh, usually it's just hogs. Uh, but I did like how this base was straight up, you know, Lalooned. Both expos set to ground, so, you know, couldn't have a better setup. Uh, his, his, his crossbows are great in that little box, which is, uh, you know, a, a perfect setup for a Laloon. So he just comes in with the shattered, uh, shattered kill squad. Uh, queen's coming in, bit beefy, maxed out queen for, you know, for Town Hall 9. Um, and I'm, I don't want to say it, but I mean, it's, it's almost like a bully attack. These guys, these guys, I've noticed a lot of their heroes have been, uh, pretty low. Uh, so it's almost like we're all kind of bullying here, so, uh, but I mean, he, you know, nonetheless, you know, not to take away from his attack, uh, once that archer queen starts, you know, she, she's actually tanking right now for that. Uh, that archer tower it's, isn't necessarily good, but he uses his rage on her. Uh, he's already started as La Loon uh, in a counterclockwise motion. Uh, he's got to get that blower out down there, otherwise he's going to be fighting against the wind. Uh, but you know, eventually he does. He still has two more rages in the bag, uh, and there's uh, there's both seeking air mines. You know, pop one uh, one of his hounds, but I mean, he's he's got plenty of troops left to you know to clear this out. Really, the only thing he has to battle is that archer tower, which is about to go down, and that whiz tower, which is about to go down now. Uh, and he still has probably uh, close to 10, 12, 10 or 12 balloons over there with with the swag heel. Uh, so, I mean, he just crushed this base. Queen's doing wrap-up uh, cleaning on the outside. Uh, the loons are just going to eventually meet up uh, right up there uh, at that 10 o'clock position to finish off for the three. And I will 4x this so you guys can see it. There's that swag heel out there. And there we go. Uh, let's see if we have another live yet. We got nothing. Alright. Uh, one more. And that's the one I showed. Where was it? Slice. So Slice, uh, I did like. This was uh, the Go Vaho, uh, which I, you know, uh, it takes... A very acquired skill to successfully attack a Govaho. Uh, it takes practice uh, and it definitely takes a little bit of uh, getting used to. Those Valks can they can have a mind of their own sometimes. Uh, never very predictable uh, unless you have these tight clumped up buildings like this which is hands down uh, the perfect base for it so he you know his his ideology here was perfect uh, he's going to bring the Rage for his Archer Queen Healer combo. Uh, poison the troops. She's going to take him out. Got great value for, uh, what's that, I think four healers and a Rage right there. Took out CC troops. Uh, working out all that uh, those trash buildings on the side. Uh, and then he's going to start down here at about 8 o'clock. He already did. Uh, at about 8, 8 o'clock, he's going to start his Govaho. Uh, and he's... <coughs> Um, can I, there he is, nope, okay, uh, so if you see that, that wall buster right there, that, that wall buster just triggered those the GGBs right there, which is so important when, you know, when setting up your base, you have to be, uh, mindful where you're, where you're putting your traps, your, your double giant bombs out there, um, a wall buster triggered your giant bombs, uh, if a wall buster triggers your giant bombs, you're doing something wrong. Uh, you need to go back, you need to, uh, you know, watch some tutorials, watch some how-tos. Um, there's plenty of them out there, but uh, whatever it was this guy um, was was trying to avoid, uh, he didn't avoid it. Uh, the wall busters triggered that, you know, Valks just came in. They're still in the core wrecking, uh, wrecking that base. He's got all his hogs in the core uh, and even a heel in there to back him up. So, I mean, this base stands about no chance right now. Uh, he's got five, five defenses left, uh, and he already has his cleanup wizards down on the bottom working. 
uh, and everything's pretty much just going to meet up in the middle, uh, in the back, uh, and that will be a three. So I will 4x this uh, so you guys can see it. And there you go. Do we have a live yet? We do not. So uh, the clan, Heroic Giants, uh, information, here you go. There's their clan tag. I'll take you, let you take a look at their war log, lots of green. Uh, so, uh, that is it for me today, and thanks for watching, fellas.